lot to update you guys on. I haven't filmed in a few days because I got my IUD in. So basically the process for that was a lot easier than I thought because before I went into the procedure, I was reading online and everybody was literally saying how it's a traumatic experience, how it was horrible and all of this stuff. So I was really scared and if you guys don't know, I actually did get the IUD for my very, very painful period cramps. Every single cycle, I get these awful, horrible cramps. I literally throw up of pain, like it's so bad. And I may or may not have endometriosis, that is still unconfirmed, but they're treating me like I have it, just in case. So I got the IUD to hopefully, um, in about three months, it'll completely just like stop my cycle so that I don't need to deal with the pain every single month because it actually does have a big effect on my everyday life, honestly. So yeah, and the experience for me was honestly so, so much better than I thought. The actual insertion, that's what I was most scared for because people were like, oh my god, it traumatized me. But personally, I know everybody has different experiences. Personally, it was not even half as bad as what I experienced through my period cramps. So I was like, <laughs> it was honestly, it hurt, don't get me wrong, but it was a piece of cake because I just feel like I've experienced way worse. So that to me was just like, like that's it, like that's all you got. Like when she put it in, I'm like, that's it? <laughs> like what? But yeah, so that, the insertion process went really, really well and she was really great too. She walked me through everything and yeah, after, immediately after though, I did experience very, very heavy cramping. Not as bad as my period cramps, so it was manageable. It lasted for about four hours and then after that, it kind of died down and I was feeling a lot, lot better and I was still cramping but not as heavy. I just like went in bed, got a heating pad and just kind of let my body relax. And so that was great. The next day after that, I felt pretty great. I had slight cramping on and off. Today I woke up, wasn't feeling the best to be honest. I did have some cramping, but I just sat in bed for a couple hours this morning and now I'm good to go. I've just been taking Advil and I know these cramps are probably gonna be on and off for about like the next week. Um, it's Friday today, I got it inserted on Wednesday, but so much better honestly than I thought. And I'm just so happy honestly with the experience. I hope it's just up from here. I don't think I should talk too soon because I know like things can get infected and stuff but like fingers crossed I think I'm good. So that was my experience with the IUD so far and I'll keep you guys updated as um, I go. I have a two month checkup in two months so we'll see how that goes. Yeah so I decided to get ready for the day. I wear these jeans literally every single day of my life you guys know that i'm just obsessed with them and they're i only have like two pairs of jeans right now really that i even like and these ones just i just can't not wear them to be honest i'm trying to find a new pair of jeans so i can switch it up but i just haven't been able to find some that i like this much um and I'm, i was feeling the pink vibe today so we're pretty in pink today <laughs> anyways i just wanted to really get ready and just make myself feel a little better because for the past couple days i've just been literally sitting in bed doing nothing so yeah i am feeling a lot better today <sighs> you guys um so yesterday i looked at my phone and we reached 90,000 subscribers and i don't even like to refer to you guys as subscribers because you're so much more than just like labeling you all as subscribers you're literally my family, you're literally my friends, like my best friends. Honestly, I say all the time like, oh, I barely have any friends. But then when I think about you guys and how much support I have from you and you engaging with my content and watching my videos, I am like, what am I even talking about? I have so many freaking friends. It's actually such a good feeling. And like, I just want you to know that I appreciate every single one of you who watch watches my videos and actually cares and it's so crazy to me that i started this youtube channel and i had this huge dream and my big dream was to reach a hundred thousand subscribers and now that we're almost there it's like so surreal to me and i just like almost can't even wrap my head around it because i'm like holy shit like it's actually about to happen and it's like oh like i can cry right now i can actually cry right now but i like yesterday I was just in awe to be honest and I was like holy shit like actually seeing the number and 
thinking like it's not just a number thinking about how many people are behind that number and how many people like press that subscribe button to my channel and who actually watch me like you are all individual people who watch me it's not just oh 90,000 subscribers no it's 90,000 individual people who decide to subscribe to my channel and that to me is the craziest thing in the world and like I can't believe that I'm living my dream life and my dream has already come true through doing this and I just can't believe that we're going to hit 100,000 soon because this time last year of 100,000 was like holy shit to me like I was like holy shit if I get 100,000 subscribers that's like I reached my dream like I'm living my dream life and now that we're actually almost there 90,000 it's just so crazy to me it's so crazy to me and I can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos when I hit 100,000 you already know I'm gonna be doing something big life is crazy and I just wanted to tell you guys that anything that you set your mind to even if it seems so big at the start you can do it 100,000 subscribers to me one year ago, a year and a half ago, was mind-boggling. I was like, how was that even possible? But at the same time, I did know that I could do it. It just seemed very, like, huge. And now that I'm almost there, I'm like, holy shit. Like, time flies, and it's just crazy how things work, work and the things that you can manifest into your life by just believing in yourself and working towards a goal and never giving up. But anyways, I'm going to sit down and obviously, like, have a chat with you guys once I hit that milestone and really just like I think I'm actually just gonna cry and bawl my eyes out because I even feel like doing that now just thinking about it ha actually happening so yeah it's just crazy but I just I just wanted to say like I can't believe we're I can't believe we're almost there and it means so much more to me than just that so anyways I do want to say if you guys don't follow my Instagram go follow it because I do want to post on there more as well and I feel like I never really plug it so if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet go follow it it's linked down below it's just like Michaela Bento just my name type it in you'll find it but yeah I love you guys too much like I I don't want to cry today. We're going to save that for when I hit that milestone. So so me and Brittany just got to Urban Barn Outlet. So about like a month ago, no, not a month ago, a few weeks ago, me and Joel went to North Van and we went into Urban Barn and it was so nice. Like everything in there, like I really wanted specific night tables, but they were $200 each. So I was like, I guess that's not like horrible for night tables, but it was just like, eh. like when you can get them at, that's annoying. When you can get them out of here for like sixty dollars, it's like okay, two hundred dollars each. If it was two hundred dollars together, that's different. But like two hundred dollars each, four hundred dollars for an table, it's a little excessive, I feel like. Mm -hmm. But they were so freaking cute. So maybe one day. But but we're at the outlet, and there's my coworker told me that there's a sale going on. So I texted Michaela. Yeah. And, and she's like, "Do you want to go?" And I was like, "Yes," because even though I'm pretty much done furnishing my place i just need to get like a couple other things you guys know moving vlog 5 is coming soon and room transformation video but i kind of just want to see if they have any like decorations like little details because i know a couple things i want to get from ikea and now i'm just kind of missing the final touches so i don't know it's just still fun to look and urban barn has such cute things so this is the outlet version so and you never know if you'll find something exactly and things are on sale here so yeah anyways I'll show you guys inside and hopefully we find some good deals. Imagine if you find a couch like I know, but you never I, know. I think the couches are on sale, but they're still pricey. But we'll see. We'll see. Gotta yeah, manifest that money. Also, you guys, the universe has been testing me. I have just been having to pay so much money that feels like I'm throwing it down the drain because it's for like Fire. taxes, like uh, my IUD cost me $500 because I don't have benefits yet. And just like so much little stuff like that has happened to me. And the universe is like, girl, we're testing you. Like, but I've realized that, okay, if you spend that money and put your head in the mind space that the money that I'm spending is going to come right back to me, triple, quadruple. Like you have to put yourself in that mindset of, no, you're not giving your end. You're not giving it away. You're actually getting it back. Mm -hmm. Multiply. Like you have to think that money way. is just energy. Exactly. So if you put your energy, if, if you dwell on it and mm -hmm. you put that negative energy towards spending money, then that's exactly how it's going to keep happening. But if you switch your energy, then it's going to change. And that's what I'm trying to do. I think the universe is testing me. So that's what I'm trying to do is keep that positive mindset. 
on money that it's fine it's an energy it'll come back like it's chilling mm -hmm. you know and you're good yeah anyways okay we're gonna go check it out okay but these coffee tables are so cute and the price is not like horrible i feel like for coffee it's tables dirty. that's not horrible i, I feel like, like. oh that is so cute two hundred dollars okay that's a good sale though it's a hundred dollars two and no yeah two hundred dollars off but it's the last one and those are really big actually like that would not fit in my room one of a kind <laughs> yeah i love that oh this is so cute too are you kidding me oh my gosh when i have a house one day i want to get like a lot of cute like more pricey i mean that's not actually that pricey that's a really good freaking deal but like i find this so cute oh whoa that's interesting it opens like a mailbox this is so comfy. i actually really like this and this would match our because we got a white and black thing going it's different i've never seen anything like it i'm gonna send it to lexi vitamins and then I put them yeah. in the cabinet. How many do you need? Because I might have an extra. I just want one. I might have an extra bathroom. I just want to get like bins because IKEA has nothing. Me and Lexi were there the other day. They have nothing. Okay. But you can have I think I'm like 99.9% .9 sure of an extra black one. Okay. We can check I can check like different aisles because they might there might be different things. But I basically just want to get like in the cupboard we have a whole bunch of like random scattered vitamins and like it'll be easier just to take them down in one bin rather than having them just like you know out and about so i just want like a like a bin that's all that i want but like these ones are too big and then those ones are too small there's not like a medium sized bin they have really cute um vegetable bags i bought something similar to this on amazon um it was pretty cheap but like they have kind of different ones here and i never knew that they would have this type of thing at the dollar store i mean they only come in like with one and it's like a dollar something but pretty good they're so cute okay so i insisted that we come to tim hortons because the justin oh i just saw it on the screen the justin bieber it's called like the Beebs Beebs Brew. It's called Beebs Brew. That's what it's called. I'm not ordering it like that though. That is so funny to say. Hey, can I get the Beebs Brew? Yeah. Can I, I hate can I get the new Beebs Brew? Please? I hate that. I hate that so much. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, hey, can I get the Justin Bieber cold brew? Yeah, it's right there because I was scared that they weren't gonna have it. I think they do it with like cream, but I'm gonna Beebs ask for merch. it with oat milk instead. And they have like merch too. It's so funny. I wonder how much Justin Bieber made from oh everything. Oh my god, so much. Oh my. The beanie is $30. They have a Capri Sun. Thank you for choosing Tim Hortons. What can I get for you today? Hi, do you guys have the Justin Bieber cold brew? We do. Can I please get that? And is there cream in there or like what type of milk is it? Uh, it's cream, but we can replace it with milk if you'd like. Okay, can I do oat milk instead, please? For sure. And what size was that? Um, I'll do medium, please. Sure yes, please. Awesome, thank you. The amount of times I just said please in that sentence. I'm the same way as you. Can I please get I was that? Like, and please? yes, thank please. You. <laughs> I just feel like you have to be like very <laughs> polite to. It was the way we were raised. Yeah. When honestly. we used to answer the phone, when somebody would call, this is what we would have to say. And this is like eight year old, seven year old me, because we would, when the landline would ring. I don't know if your followers know even what a landline is. The obvious. But. I grew up with that and we'd answer the phone hello this is Brittany speaking hi can I talk to your mom please and we would have she, like things to say yeah she trained us I'd be yeah. like oh she's unavailable at the moment yeah, yeah. can we I leave it. We're yeah. not done oh she is unavailable at the moment can I please take a message <laughs> dude we were trained to say that my parents were like if you answer the phone and they ask for us never say we're not home so it'd be like they're unavailable at the moment can we take a message and it was literally like a voice answering machine they got us to memorize this line and we, we practiced yes and we would race to answer the phone it was a race every single time it rang I'll get it yeah. no me and then it would be like there's like more like multiple Mm. phone scattered on a house so it was like whoever was there first so, so funny, funny. we've been saying the same thing over and it's over it's happened again. like three times in the last week it has we're literally we, though yeah i'm not over exaggerating no literally. not over exaggerating it's actually weird like we've been like saying the same exact sentence and we never do this 
Like this has never happened, I feel like, in our lives. <laughs> the other day I was so like, cool. I was like, what are you doing eating dinner? Oh, same, come down and eat with us. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm alone. She's like, hold her plate, and eat with us. hold her plate of food in the elevator. <laughs> I literally took my food on the elevator. And like that time there was nobody who saw me, but the last time I did it, I literally went in with a full plate of taquitos and there was people in the elevator and they were like, oh, What the heck is this girl doing? So funny. I was like, I'm having a fiesta. <laughs> do you think you're changed in a plastic bag? <laughs> It doesn't fit. Sometimes I'll have random change. I'm like, oh, can I pay for my coffee? I put my extra change in that little thing there. <gasps> oh, why did I never what? know that was there? <gasps> I'm going to load that up. Because we have the same car, right? There's a little pocket there for change I never even realized. Or okay. Let's, similar car. let's get this Beebs Colt, Beebs Brew. Hi. Thank you so much. You too. All right. Got the Beebs Brew. Brewing it up. Okay, I'm actually going to park the car. Because I want to do a try test. Put back into one of these. Yeah, I was just, just going to do that. Let me hold this. Yeah, can you hold that? I need two hands on the wheel, Brittany. This is a maneuver. Cheers, Justin Bieber. If you're watching this, um, just want to say hi. <laughs> Me acting like Justin Bieber is watching my YouTube video. You probably made a lot of money off of. I know yeah. the beanies are thirty dollars. I was shocked at that because usually if you go buy a beanie, it's like fifteen dollars at the store. Probably because he's getting a big cut. Yeah, definitely getting half of the profits over here. Maybe not half. That's kind of excessive. Don't you want to mix it? You gotta get the full effect. Okay, okay. That's good. It kind of tastes caramelly. That's why I said I wonder what the flavor is. Taste it. It tastes good with the oat milk. Oh yeah, it's good, right? Mhm. Mm it's really good. Anyways, cheers to Justin Bieber. We love you. I feel like it could be a little bit stronger though. It's good. It's, it's, it is it's, good, but it's, it's very, very mild. It's very mild and very like milky, like latte y. Mm -hmm. But it's cold brew, I think, which is cream and maybe like caramel or something. That's what it tastes like. It is good. I give it an 8 out of 10. What would you, would you give it? I'd say 7. Pretty seven? close, yeah. It's. Yeah. I think it just needs to be like a little bit more strong, like a bit of a stronger coffee flavor for me. Yeah, I feel that. I'm gonna go make a TikTok of this now. So follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Yes. Brittany Bento. Brittany's. If you Brittany, like ghost shit, yeah, I talk Brittany to ghosts. Yeah, Brittany does spiritual TikToks. <laughs> so go follow her TikTok. Paranormal TikTok. At Brittany Bento. Mine's Michaela Bento. So go follow. Using my sister's clout to get my own. <laughs> <laughs> what is that called? Clout? I mean, the clout you little clout chaser over here. Okay, I just got home. To be honest, I'm kind of cramping right now. Like I said, my cramps from the IUD are on and off. I don't know if it's like the cold brew that I drink. I don't know, it just feels a little, ugh, like I don't feel that good right now. But anyways, it's fine. I, it's bearable pain. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a dollar store haul. I was gonna go to Ikea, but then I just, we just wanted to come home. So I'm gonna go to Ikea, maybe even tomorrow. So we'll see, but anyway, so from the dollar store, I got these two bins because I wanna put them in one of my bathroom drawers just because we don't have bins at the top there and everything is kind of scattered. So really random, but just two, you know, normal bins. And then I found this um, little cute cream bin that I wanna put our vitamins in. I'm gonna do that right now actually and i'll show you guys hopefully it fits everything because it's kind of small but i feel like it should do the job so and then i got these bag clips for like chips and stuff i already have two packs of these but i wanted to get another one because i'm always looking for more of these clip things because they're really good to seal stuff and then i just got this folder and it has a whole bunch of like dividers in it for all of my adult tax stuff and all of that my important documents and stuff it's just nice that I have this now to keep it all in one place so that I know it's safe and everything. So I just got this for adult stuff. Yeah, let's put the vitamins away and see if they fit in here. This was the last one left like this too, so I'm happy I found it. The dollar store Loki has good shit though. Like, it's actually kind of fire sometimes. Actually, all the time. There's a lot of stuff in there. Okay, so here are all of my vitamins and stuff. So hopefully they all fit in this little bin. Um, I think they will, but we'll see. Okay, so everything actually fit nicely except for this, but it's fine. I'll just put it on the side because this fits everything else perfectly. So I'm so happy about it. And yeah, so now I'm just going to put it up in the cabinet there. 
and it's just so much more organized so now when i want the vitamins i can just take them all down and then just pick then i also put like my advil and tylenol and stuff in here too so it's nice to have everything in all like one bit it's so much easier 